Hey guys, welcome back to Macrame Vibe. It's Normandy. Today we're going to be creating this wall hanging using the chain box square knots, double half hitch knots, and a horizontal braid. I am going to be using Nook Theory cord today, and I'm going to link that in the description and give you a little bit more detail on this cord later on in the video. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by attaching 26 cords to the wooden dowel. The measurements for the cords are going to be the first two cords are going to be seven feet long. The next two cords are going to be seven and a half feet long. Then the next three cords are going to be eight feet long. The next three cords after that are going to be eight and a half feet long. The six cords in the middle are going to be nine feet long. And then we're going to start working our way back down. The next three cords are going to be eight and a half feet long. The next three, eight feet. The next two, seven and a half feet, and the last two, seven feet long. You're going to want to attach each cord to the dowel using a lark's head knot. We're going to be working with the first four cords. We're going to take the two outer cords and wrap it around the two middle cords. So you'll start by putting it over, wrap it around the back, bring it back over to the front, and then you're going to wrap it around the back one more time. I slowed it down here so you can see exactly how I do it. Now, after you've wrapped it around again, you're just gonna go ahead and tighten them up just a tiny pinch. I found that this helps with keeping the knots nice and tight and they kept uniform. Now using the two working cords that we have been working with, go ahead and tie a square knot. If you have questions on how to tie a square knot, I'll go ahead and link a tutorial down for you in the description box below. When you're finished tying the square knot, you're gonna go ahead and grab the two middle cords and push it straight up. This is going to give it a look of a square knot below two double half hitch knots, or at least that's what I think it looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and do it again, and I'll slow it down for you one more time. Bring the two outer cords over, then you're gonna push them behind. Then you're gonna wrap them back around over and then you're gonna pull them behind. When tying the square knot, you're gonna to wanna to bring it up nice and close to where the last twist around the cord ends. That way it stays nice and tight when you push it up. You're going to repeat this process until you have completed the first row. If you are looking for some great cord that is easy to work with and comes in a lot of different colors, I definitely would check out Nook Theory. I'll go ahead and link their Instagram down below. They also have an Amazon page where you can purchase their cord as well. If you guys are liking this tutorial so far, please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Once the first row is complete, I like to move my cords closer together so that they are touching. To start the second row, you're going to take the first two cords and just move them out to the side. You'll start tying your knot with the next four cords. Continue going down the row tying the knot and you're going to see that it is attaching the first row square knots together. Now 
When you get to the end of the row, you're going to see that you have two cords left over just as you did in the beginning. With each new row, you're going to take out two more cords. So for the third row, it's going to be four. The next row, you're going to take two more out and it's going to be six. And if you are unsure if you're taking out the correct amount of cords, just go ahead and look at the row above and your new knot should be connecting the square knots that are above it. You'll see that when you tie the square knot, the cord above wraps around nice and tight and you want it to stay that way so when you push the square knot up, it gives you a nice pattern. Just like in the previous row, you're going to have the same amount of cord left over as you did in the beginning of your current row. Continue this pattern and it will make a triangle that has the point facing down. When you get to the last row, there should be four cords left over and you're going to go ahead and tie one last knot. To start creating the row of double half hitch knots, we're going to go ahead and attach a cord to the wooden dowel that is cut three and a half feet long. You're going to want to attach the longer side closest to the piece and just have a tiny side poking out. Now you're going to tie double half hitch knots all along the side, grabbing a new cord every time. While tying the row of double half hitch knots, you're going to want to make sure that the anchor cord is right up against the square knots. As you are working, you're going to notice that there are going to be little gaps where the double half hitch knot isn't going to quite match up. So you're going to attach a cord that is 5 feet long with a cow hitch knot. Now that is just the opposite of a lark's head knot. I'll be showing you how to tie this knot in the next portion where I add a cord. To tie the cow hitch knot, you're going to go under the anchor cord, bring the loop over, and then pull the cord through the loop. And that is going to give it the same look as a double half hitch knot once you tighten it. It's the opposite of a lark's head knot.
When you get to the bottom of the triangle, you're going to go ahead and stop tying double half hitch knots and we're going to attach another cord three and a half feet long to the wooden dowel just as we did on the opposite side. Tie your row of double half hitch knots adding five and a half feet cords to the gaps as you come upon them. When you get to the bottom of the triangle, we're going to attach the two anchor cords now. Take the right hand anchor cord and put it above the left hand one, and we're going to tie one half hitch knot. This is what your project should look like so far. I noticed a little bare spot in my project when I was going to start tying the braid. If you do notice any spots like that, go ahead and just attach a filler cord that is measured at five and a half feet long. You'll want to attach this cord with a cow hitch knot. To tie the horizontal braid, you're going to want to take the two leftmost cords and then you're going to want to grab the third cord, the one right next to those, and we're going to be working with those ones first. Put the third one over the two left cords you're going to bring it around and then through the little loop that it creates. Pull that up nice and tight and you do want to pull it pretty snug that way it is flush against the row of double half hitch knots. You're going to take the left cord now, just move that to the side and now you have your two cords. Pick up a new cord and that is going to be the third cord now. You're going to put it over, around, and through just as you did previously. You're going to continue the same pattern. It's basically tying a half hitch knot around two cords and then alternating which two cords are being tied around. I'll show you a few more times and just remember you want to pull the cord nice and snug up to the double half hitch knots. I found that when adding the filler cords to tie the double half hitch knots, it added quite a bit of extra cord, and so I would skip some of those cords while tying the braid, or it would make the braid look a little bunchy and curve. When skipping the cords, you won't be able to tell in the braid because since they hang behind the braid, it is not noticeable. When you get to the bottom of the project, go ahead and stop and we're going to bring a braid down now on the opposite side. I find that this side is a little bit more challenging, so you're going to do the same thing. You're going to bring it over, around, and behind, and then pull it nice and tight, switching which two cords you are tying. Just make sure you're pulling it nice and tight up to the double half hitch knots to keep it flush. When you get to the bottom of the piece, we are going to connect the two braids. You'll want to grab two cords from the left hand side of the piece and one cord from the right hand side of the piece and you're going to go ahead and tie one of the half hitch knots to connect the braids. 
Now we're going to tie a row of double half hitch knots just as we did above the braid. Bring it down to the middle just as we did on the previous row of double half hitch knots. Repeat on the opposite side. Once at the bottom of the piece, connect the two anchor cords using one half hitch knot. I think using one half hitch knot instead of double half hitch knot makes it look just a little bit more pointed. Now head down to the bottom of your piece and cut it to any angle that you would like. Your wall hanging is now complete. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. If you would like to check out more of my tutorials, go ahead and check the description box down below or click on one of these videos that will take you straight to another tutorial.